Let's see if Brian Carver can adjust as they come off of corner number four. This time, dead even at the stripe into turn one. McDougal this time sticks to the high side. That opens the door for Christopher Bell. Here comes that 88. Triple eight. Hank Davis there on the top side as Bell goes back to the bottom. That's third, fourth, fifth, sixth as Frank Flood in the 81 runs the Don Don, as we've called it, the middle line of the racetrack. Difference at the strike was about 1.3 seconds between Carver and McDougal. McDougal made a mistake, biked it up on the cushion there, got in a little bit hard and cost him some of the ground that he was making up on Carver's. We're going to get a caution flag. One backed up on the top side of turns one and two, and that is Chase Randall, quickest chicken through turns three and four to restart here just shy of halfway. Not a good restart for McDougal as Carver gets away. He's going to try the bottom side. That gives Bell the high side free lane. Bell pops a little bit of a wheelie off the cushion. We'll start to set his sights on Jason McDougal as they work through three and four. Everybody now moving toward the top side, at least for the top five, as there's a look at Hank Davis and Frank Flood. Flood all sorts of crossed up. Gets tagged from the tail from Hank Davis. That brings in Gunnar Setzer now. Boys and girls, that's Tyler Courtney starting to be a factor in the X car that's down there on the low side as Flood hard into Davis. Courtney had to change his lanes there to move to get around the Hank Davis machine, but settles in. Courtney now working the bottom side, trying to see if this works a little bit better as Jason McDougal has now caught Brian Carver just a little bit there going into one and two. It can be perfect one more time. McDougal going to try and throw the bomb in at three. Carver's ice skated off the bottom at turn number two there. That's what cost him the drive, but he recovers barely holding the lead coming into five to go both running the bottom side of one and two carver again adva advantage of that 41 about three car lengths but here comes christopher bell here comes tyler courtney now who's working underneath for second or for third for the lead right there mcdougall on the bottom side of turn two a mistake from carver carver trying to return the favor into three jason crosses over we're going to have a heck of a battle of these last five laps carver time to go it. contact there between mcdougall and carver that's going to allow carver and now christopher bell to come in on third here comes tyler Tyler Courtney now for the third spot. Sunshine, the only guy working the bottom side of three and four. Give him second at the line in front of McDougal. Tyler to the bottom. He's the biggest mover and shaker in this entire feature. He's going to have two laps at the line or two laps to go at the line to reel in your leader, Carver. Terry Maddox, two flags, two laps to go. Here comes Tyler Courtney. Sunshine, does he have anything for Brian Carver? What a run off of turn number two. He's going to have a shot here coming off of three and four. Coming to the white flag. White flag this time by Carver at the line. Uh Contact into turn one. It's oh. going to be now or never for Tyler Courtney down the back stretch. What's Carver going to do? Protects the low side. Sunshine on the high side. Can he get enough momentum around the outside Sun of turn four? Sunshine has it wound up, but it's Brian Carver at the line. Second driller of the day, this time in the A-class wing division.